Next image, fundus dystrophy. You can see the image, egg yolk, scrambled egg image and next. Next image, golden heart syndrome. It is also known as facio-auricular vertebral dysplasia, unilateral craniofacial microsomia, first and second brachial arc syndrome, lateral facial dysplasia, automandibular dysostosis, velocardiofacial syndrome and unilateral mandibulofacial dysostosis. Golden Haar syndrome, it is characterized by craniofacial anomalies in association with vertebral, cardiac, renal and central nervous system defects. The syndrome which is characterized by a triad of anomalies which comprising epibulbar dermoid, accessory auricular appendages and oral fistula. Next image, Fairy's line, filtering blap. It is corneal epithelium iron line at the edge of filtering blaps. Next image, keratoconus, which is seen in Down syndrome. Cornea will thin and gradually bulges outward into a cone shaped. It can cause blurry, distorted vision. It occurs when your cornea, the clear dome-shaped front surface of your eye, thins and gradually bulges outward into a cone shape. Next image, Fleischer ring, occur due to R&D position. These are pigmented rings in the peripheral cornea, which results from iron deposition, as written in the image. In basal epithelial cells, in the form of hemosiderin. These are usually yellowish to dark brown and may be complete or broken. It is degenerative corneal condition that causes cornea to thin and change to a conic shape. Kaiser Fleischer rings, Wilson's disease. Next image, pneumonal keratitis. It is a feature of viral keratoconjunctivitis. It is a most common feature of adenoviral keratoconjunctivitis and ocular adenovirus infection. It is also seen in herpes zoster ophthalmicus. Infections, it is presence of anterior stromal infiltrates as you can see the image. Next image, salmon patch, interstitial keratitis, ground glass, salmon patch, congenital syphilis. It is seen in Hutchinson's patch, is a dull orangish pink area, generally without clear boundaries on the cornea. Most often found at the periphery of the cornea, the sign is an indication of interstitial or parenchymatous keratitis, which causes corneal neovascularization. Next image, iris bump. Iris bomb is a condition in which there is a position of the iris to the lens or anterior vitreous which prevent aqueous from flowing from the posterior to the anterior chamber. The pressure in the posterior chamber rises resulting in anterior bowing of the peripheral iris and obstruction of the trabecular meshwork. Next image, laprotic uveitis, iris pearl. It's seen in leprosy. It is a chronic granulomatous infectious disease which caused by Mycobacterium leprae. It mainly involves skin, peripheral nerves, mucous membranes and ocular structures as you can see the image. Next image, Wilson's disease. Next image, Krukenberg spindle, pigmented dispersion syndrome and it is also known as pigmented glaucoma. Krukenberg spindle is the name given to the pattern formed on the inner surface of the cornea by pigmented iris cells that are shed during the mechanical rubbing of posterior pigment layer of the iris with the jonular fibrils that are deposited as a result of the currents of the aqueous humor. Next image, lattice degeneration of the retina, annular crescent, Foxter foot spot and dark area around fundus. It is also known as path myopia. Lattice degeneration is a disease of the human eye wherein the peripheral retina becomes atrophic in the lattice pattern and may develop 
tears, breaks or holes which may further progress to the retinal detachment. It is important cause of retinal detachment in young myopic individuals. Next image, membranous conjunctivitis which is caused by cornibacterium, diphtheria. Next image, morning glory, optic disc coloboma. Morning glory syndrome is a birth defect, congenital defect of the nerve of the eye which is optic nerve that resembles a flower known as morning glory. It is characterized by an enlarged funnel shaped cavity of the optic disc, the point in the eye where the optic nerves fibers leave the retina. Next image Dallin Fox nodule. It is also known as sympathetic co ophthalmitis. Dallin Fox nodule clusters of epithelioid cells containing pigment lying between the RPE and Brooks membrane in VKH and sympathetic ophthalmia. Although not pathognomic, are quite suggestive of sympathetic ophthalmitis and may indicate a more severe stage of sympathetic ophthalmitis. Dallin Fox nodule are small discrete yellowish infiltrates at the level of the RPE that the most often seen and the largest in the retinal choroidal periphery. Next image Pisa fundus, tomato ketchup retinopathy. Source cheese, brush fire vasculitis, which is caused by CMV, cytomegalovirus, retinitis, retinitis. Next image, rot spot eye, which is seen in bacterial endocarditis. A rot spot is a hemorrhage, which is a blood from ruptured blood vessels. It affects your retina, the part of your eye that senses light and sends signals to your brain that allow you to see. Rot spots are also called Litten's sign. Next image, salt and pepper fundus seen in rubella, you can see the image. Sclerosing keratitis is seen in rheumatoid arthritis, you can see the image. Next image, Schaefer sign which is retinal detachment. Schaefer sign also called tobacco dust. Schaefer sign refers to the presence of collection of brown pigmented cells in the anterior vitreous following a PVD. Next image, you can see the image, smokestack appearance, enlarged central serous retinopathy. Next image, snow banking, snowball, pars planitis. It is intermediate uveitis. It is chronic low-grade vitreitis with snowball opacities, snow banking, peripheral vascular sheathing and peripheral granuloma. In a North Indian population, TB was found to be an unusual common etiology of intermediate uveitis. Next image, Stoker line. Stoker line is the brown iron line in the cornea anterior to the head of the pterygium. Next image, synchesis scintillans, liquefactive vitreous, you can see the image. Next image, ulcer serpents, which is caused by pneumococcus. Next image, voiceous ring. Voiceous ring is an impression ring formed due to compression of posterior pigmented iris, epithelium of pupillary rough against the anterior lens capsule. You can see the image. Its presence should prompt through evaluation for seven rings of ophthalmic trauma. Concussion injection. Next image, seasonal allergic, spring cateritis, vernal keratoconjunctivitis. You can see the image. Next image, trachoma, which is Egyptian ophthalmica. You can see the image. Next image, standard Snellen type, corneal curvature, ophthalmometer. Next image, corneal endothelium specular microscopy. You can see the instrument's images. Next image, corneal stain, 2% fluorescent stain, brilliant green, you can see the image. Corneal surface topography, placido disc, which is also known as keratoscopy. Next instrument image is pachymeter, which help us to know the thickness of the cornea. Next image, corneal thickness curvature surface orb scan, you can see the image. Next image, right eye vision field, campimeter, field charting perimeter, 
which is fixed red light respond to the green light intraocular pressure tonometer i hope you already watch part 1 and part 2 thank you for watching